Hey, Mark Ornke here at PackOuts.com. This is Girlfriend, and we're talking to her business end because you can see how wide she is. So this video, I want to show you how I kind of know that my doe is about ready to give birth and, and where they are in the process. Yeah. And it's nice this one's here too because she's about five days away, and I'm going to show you the difference. So remember, this goat's dairy, this goat's al alpine, and saber cross so it's three quarters dairy one quarter meat so she doesn't quite have the udder the other goats do she actually produces decent she's almost a gallon a day when she's full production and um so she i thought has been ready for multiple mm -hmm. days but now we're at the final cue and the final cue psst, 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 one the final cue is that you can see this white liquid coming out of vagina Generally as a rule, as soon as I see that, I'm within a couple hours of her getting ready to have birth. Um, that, it, it'll become more and more, it'll be thick, it'll hang out of her like a shoestring. I've heard it referred to as the plug. I've heard it referred to as several different things. But the other thing that I look for to know that she's close is, and if you come over here, you're gonna be able to see from over here. And sorry you guys, the goats are just messing with the camera lady. Um, and Bella who just had babies. By the way, if you ever want to take a kind of skittish goat and turn it into the most loving on the planet, just help it give birth. There is like this really cool thing that you get with a goat that's just had a baby. They get super connected. You can almost take a wild, you can't even catch them goat, help them have a baby and start milking them and they're your new best friend. So she's just super loving. So go on Bella. You go away. She's really needy right now because she just had her baby uh, babies a day and a half ago. But the other thing that you're looking for is you're looking for these tendons to loosen and, and close to birth you can almost wrap your hands all the way around it. So I'm going to kind of go into here and you can see I can actually pick that tail off all the way. So I almost my fingers are almost touching on the other side and that shows you that she's very close to being ready to give birth. The last cue that I really look for is I look for a good full udder. And I'll hold her here because she won't really want me to touch. Good girl, good girl, good girl. Okay, good girl, good girl. Mm -hmm. So I like yeah. when their udder is really taut, yeah. but it is not uniform. Yeah. None of these things are uniform and for sure. I see variances in them. I actually thought yeah. Bella was gonna have her baby after girlfriend. And Bella had not as tight a udder and not as loose a tail, but she had babies yesterday. I almost guarantee a girlfriend's gonna have hers today. So I'm guessing we're gonna have babies in the next couple hours with her. Now, for example, Harry, she's not due for about a week. So she's still about a week off. And the difference, I want you to pay attention on the tail. If you come in here a little closer on the tail, you'll notice that it just does not have the same looseness. So I can't pick that tail off like it at all. I can get in there, but I can't get around it. The difference is instantly noticeable. And I also notice on a doe that's really ready, much higher, they don't like each other, much higher, I can't get any at all. Whereas with girlfriend right now, I can get, I can get tail clear up into here and get around it. It's just nice and loose. The other thing is you'll notice Harry's udder, if we can get, Kind of a close on this. Go on, Bella. I know, needy girl. Go on, go on. Come here. Come here, Harry. Let's see if we can put Harry in a better spot. So Harry is one of the subdominants, but you can see her udder is still really small, and she's a high-level dairy producer. So she's not bagged out. She's not set in. She's not in milk yet. She's still got a long ways to go. Not no loose ligaments and not a big bag. Big bag, super loose uh, ligaments. So. And on top of the, the final cue is she's starting to drip really thick white stuff coming out of her vagina. And that's going to indicate to me that it's very likely we're going to have babies today with her. So I hope you find that helpful. These are just general cues that we're looking for. What I recommend and the best is, is to witness the breeding. And when you witness the breeding, you literally put it into a calculator. It's available online. When is my doe due? You put in the breeding date. It'll tell you what the due date is. And I always find that they're a day here or there. I had problems this year with certain does getting bred um, at a different time than I thought I witnessed it. So I witnessed the breeding, but they got bred later. And so my dates have been complicated this year 
Um, I've had to judge most of it based on where they are in terms of how they feel. I thought girlfriend has been ready to have her baby for two days now. She still hasn't had it. We're on the third day of me thinking she's ready. Um, and we'll see how it goes today. She did also have just a single last year and was this big. So I'm anticipating that that may be a possibility again this year. She's huge. We've had two sets of triplets. We'll see if she has a single or twins or what goes with that this year. So again, if you like this video, please remember if you're trying to know more about birthing and all that sort of stuff, this year we are filming our full birthing course where we'll show you live births, problem births, how to handle the situations as they come up, what to do with yours, um, all that stuff in one yeah. course that'll help you to be prepared for helping your little goat that you love so much have babies healthily and safely. I, I will tell you this, I've had triplets twice this year already. Both of them had major mm -hmm. problems with the first one. And had I not known what to do in the first one, I had a chin down birth where I had to push back in, pull the chin up. Um, that couldn't have come out and had to fish a leg out of that one. That was the first one. If that would have balled them up, they would have been balled yeah. up. And then hers, she actually had a breech butt first, yeah. legs in, which is incredibly dangerous and complicated to get them to go back in and to pull a leg. Um, I also was highly confused because I'd never seen that before in person and it was super weird looking. When the, the, when the butt came out, it, it just didn't look right because it's got goo all over it and everything. It's not like it's just all clean and clear. And then the tail was like in a really weird position, like shoved up and to the side. And honestly, I thought it was like a, I thought it was a malformed piece of flesh. I thought it was like a miscarriage. It didn't even look like a goat. And the goat's color was like a real coppery color. So it looked like dead flesh. So it was really confusing for me. So there's a lot of reasons. And I'm on, I think I've pulled 40 babies, somewhere in that range now. I've been through this a lot, five years of, of helping goats have birth. I, I'm still no veteran, I have a long ways to go, but man, I would have loved to have seen a all everything course going in. So that's what we're trying to make for you with people who know more than me. So anyway, I hope you find that helpful and hopefully we got a baby later today with a girlfriend. So Mark Warnke, packoats.com. I, I, I hope you find that felt helpful and make sure you subscribe and you know put a comment in the page and, and share it with your friends. And my cameraman's getting rubbed on by a goat. It's pretty good stuff. Wish you could see what I see. All right, take care, bye-bye. Hey, one other thing I forgot to add is that one of the other things that you can help you to know when your doe's getting ready to kid is that they just become kind of needy. I don't know how to describe it other than that. They want to stand next to you. They kind of wander over and they'll rub against you. It, it's really a super, this is like a magic little cool part about goats is the does are really like wanting you to be a part of it. It's like how Bella's like twice as connected as she was before she had babies. There, There's a neediness, cinder. I mean, if I wander around right now, all the does that have kitted, they're super needy and want love. And one of the ways I notice is just, she'll, they'll just kind of get lovey-dovey and, you know, kind of rub up against you and kind of swan song you and their, their bleat changes. And I think it's that they get a rush of hormones running through their body and it kind of changes their mannerism so you can kind of pay attention to mannerism too but this goat is really close to having babies I can just tell I think we're gonna have them here shortly so anyway again um, there's lots of things to look for but that is just another thing